Good morning, friends. Welcome to Time with Thai Pool Edition. It is so hot in Northern California. At nine o'clock on a Sunday morning, it is definitely time to go swimming. So yes, um, pre-church swimming, wishing you all a wonderful day. Happy Sunday. Let's do a meditation. Sitting up straight or laying down comfortably, uncrossing your arms and legs, closing your eyes, rolling your shoulders back, smiling, releasing your mouth, let everything get soft, breathing in and breathing out, breathing in and out and taking a nice deep breath in my loves. Thirty more seconds. I think that was a minute actually lost uh I lost count but I do that so often that I feel like it's in the ballpark <laughs> man woman dang shoot geez all the things I knew that was gonna happen today I knew it was um I can either pull my cable out so that my phone is stable I left my tripod in my office and if I run out of juice I run out of juice that's just kind of how it goes um yeah all the things so a lot of times I meditate and I get into contact with my higher power and I ask what is it that people need to hear what is it that they want to hear um, this show is not a reflection of my life. I sometimes bring snippets and tidbits of things that I observe or hear in my communications with people, at work, in my personal life, just as a point of reference. But it's not, even though the show is called Time with Ty, because we're spending time together, it is not a reality uh, shebang. Like, this is not about, oh, what I'm going on, what I'm doing, my my pets, my kids, my renovations. No. It's not that. It's what do you need? I show up here for you to provide content, to provide value, to answer questions. Um, some of it could be life coach. Some of it is like just getting a spiritual check in, um, kind of like a buddy system. Like, oh, this is what I've experienced, heard, seen, witnessed, gone through in the past week. And I just want to check in in under 10 minutes. It's not a, I'm not a licensed therapist. I'm not a doctor. But, you know, I do have a lot of experience. I've worked in a lot of different situations from corporate to startups. Um, social work is my thing now. I've done entrepreneurial things. I've been a performer. So I have these views with relation to working, being a parent, being a daughter, being a community member, being a Christ follower, being loving and tolerant of all religions and all belief systems. I just have a pretty broad and deep view of moving through life and how we can move through life in a way that serves us and attracts positive energy, people, places, and things to us. And then the flip side of that is, you know... The negativity, the toxicity, the blow-ups. The, the, what are we going to do with less than 10%? I have an old iPhone. It's like an iPhone 8. I'm just so stubborn. I refuse to change it because I don't like buying into the 
belief that I have to have a new phone every six months or a year. I think that's ridiculous. I'm a little bit of a minimalist, not really, if you look around my office and my house. Um, I'm a little bit of a rugged individualist. And being in social work, it's interesting. I feel that we should pull ourselves up by the bootstraps, that we should use the resources that are available to us, and that we should maximize our potential. Um, that being said, some of us are going through harder times than others, and it can really help to extend that hand of love, of unconditional love. In my palm, I have unconditional love, and I'm offering it to you. So you can feel better in this moment, or for today, or you know, come and check out the replay and just, oh my goodness, I need someone to just offer me that something that I need in this moment. Unconditional love. Something I'm missing. Something, a piece of advice uh, or a shared similar experience where I'm lacking understanding. So I had a lot of ideas for topics today and then they all went out the window. And so I'm just here with you present because I say I'm going to show up every Sunday. I do. It doesn't always, you know, it's not always super wisdom filled, obviously less times than more I have no makeup on, getting ready to go swimming with my family. But I do want you to know that I love you. I think that's what, if there's anything I could convey today, if there's any message that I would want to, um, that I would want to share with you, I've in the, I've been in the midst of lots and lots and lots of challenges lately. Um, please pray for my cat. My cat is either transitioning, which is why you probably hear some shakiness in my voice. I love my cat, Merlin. He's been with me for 12 years. And I was at the emergency hospital Thursday night, and I don't know what's happening, but um, God knows. And I'm going to trust and put my faith in God that, um, that it's going to be okay. Thank you. Thank you for that love. I am very sad about my cat. He is an amazing dude. So prayerfully Merlin makes it, or if it's his time to transition that he's able to do so peacefully and, um, and peacefully. That being said, what was the other thing? Yes. Sadness about my cat. Um, what can I could, oh, if I could offer you one thing, I want you to know that it's going to be okay. I, you might not believe me, and it might not feel like it, but it is going to be okay. That okay might not look the way that you want it to, that you've designed or planned it to. You might have anxiety around that okay. You might have peace around that okay. Maybe you're in surrender and acceptance. Maybe you're fighting. Maybe you're crying. Maybe you're angry. Whatever you are about that thing, because I know you're going through something it is going to be okay. It will work out. And the empowering part of that is saying, I feel this way, God, universe, higher power, nature. I feel a certain way about this thing. I want relief about my feelings. I want relief within my body. And I am asking for help directing and channeling my energy to the best possible outcome for everybody involved because when we can do that that's the release that's the surrender we can accept that we're in a trying time and we are asking for help directing and focusing our energy to the best possible thing because I think if we stew in the anger and the kind of like to toxicity the the angst the frustration then that's the kind of solution that we're going to attract so we get to take responsibility for how we feel we get to ask for help the universe loves the what did, who get, wrote gabby bernstein the universe has your back um that's true scientifically proven and yeah greg braden uh dr carolyn mice i mean lots and lots of research about how the universe and energy works and how it always has our back so if you're in a thing that's not to your liking. People, place, or thing that is kind of causing some distress. For me, it's my cat, Merlin. Here's how I'm feeling. I'm feeling sad. I'm feeling anxious. I'm feeling overwhelmed. I'm feeling uncomfortable. I don't know what the future brings. I need help. I need help. I, I want relief around how I'm feeling. I'd like to have those emotions tempered, balanced, soothed, eased my heart to feel um, secure and supported. And thirdly, 
I am looking for the best possible outcome for everybody involved. We've just released that very powerful prayer. Let's end it with gratitude. Thank you, 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 thank you. I'm on on alternative seating right now, so if I just went out of frame, it's because I have an alternative seat to help strengthen my abs. I love you. Let's say it together. I love myself. Look in that mirror, look at me, look at something, look at somebody, close your eyes. I love myself. I love myself. Yes, friends, that's the way to spiral it up. I love you. Thank you for joining me for Time with Ty. I will see you next Sunday. Oh, my goodness. I will see you next Sunday at 9 a.m. I love you. I love you. Have a fabulous day.